Hello again, Matt Tilly, the British bloke, uh, doing a short video today on commissions. Obviously, uh, in the state of California, a uh, commission on a house is negotiable. I've heard anything from 7% to 6% all the way down to, I see companies offering uh, 1% um, sometimes. And don't forget, that's 1% uh, that they're, they're accepting as the seller's agent. They're still spending 25 3% of the buyer's agent commission. So even if you see someone advertising, I only charge 1% to ch sell your house, they're giving the buyer's agent 3%. So they're still gonna be taking 4% from you. Okay, so don't, don't think, oh, 1%, well that's incredible. Um, Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there right now. And uh, I'm gonna state with 100% uh, certainty. If someone is willing to sell your house for less than 5%, don't work with them. It's as simple as that. I would say do not work with them. Unless it's you know your best friend and he's doing you a deal or she's doing you a deal, great. But if it's an agent that's been referred to you or someone that you found and they're, they're saying, oh, we'll sell your house for 4%, I would run 100 miles away from them, 100 miles an hour and look for someone else, preferably from first team and preferably the British bloke. And here's why. First of all, the commission shouldn't be the biggest uh, battle when it comes to uh, signing a listing agreement. You need to look at the net profit, okay? Uh, basically, what would you prefer? I'll, I'll use a large number here, but would you prefer me to charge you 10% commission and make you $700,000? Or would you prefer me to charge you 3% commission and make you 680000 You know, It's always the net profit that you should be looking at. It shouldn't be about the commission. If, 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 you're, if you're paying 5 6 7% in commission, but your net profit is going to be high, that's that. That's what you should be. That's what you should be looking at. Focus on the net profit and not on the commission. People get so wrapped up in what they're spending on commission that the the rest of the deal they, they can't focus on. When when really the commission isn't the important part. The the net profit in your pocket when you sign when the deal is signed, sealed, and delivered is the important part. So here's why you shouldn't be working with people charging uh, charging less than five percent. I like to do 6%, sometimes I do 5%, but if someone offers you 4%, don't forget, half of the commission goes to the buyer's agent's commission. So the buyer who's bringing in his clients to your house, if, if he, when he's looking in the multiple listing service, he can see houses. So say, I think the average agent these days charges 5%. It, you know, 6% is very common, um, but 5% I think is standard in the industry in Southern California. 2.5% two, two goes to the buyer's agent, 2.5% goes to the listing agent. So if an agent is charging, says he'll charge you 4%, he's gonna take two, and he's gonna give 2% to the listing, uh, to the buyer's agent. And you know, this shouldn't happen, but it's human nature. If, if that buyer's agent has four properties, and three are offering 2.5% to him or her, and one is offering two. Yes, he's obviously gonna show his clients that house. He has to, it's his fiduciary responsibility. However, is that one gonna be at the bottom of the pile? Are the other houses gonna be explained to them and described to them a little bit more enthusiastically than the 2% one? Of course, it's human nature. Yes, he's gonna show them the house, but guess what? He's gonna be talking more enthusiastically about the, the house where he's gonna make more money. So, and because of that, less people are gonna be seeing your house. So if an agent comes in and says, I'll sell your house for 4%, you're not gonna be saving money. You might actually, you will probably lose money in the long run because you're gonna get less people looking at your property, less people making offers, you're gonna be lowering the price, and at the end of the day, you're gonna make less money. So not all agents are created equal. You know, I always hear, well, he's doing 4%, why don't you do 4%? Well, I'll tell you why, because I'm better than him. Agents, like lawyers, like doctors, like in any profession, there's different quality, okay? If an agent walks into your house and you say, I wanna pay you 4%, and they say, fine, done, do you really want them negotiating on your biggest asset? Don't you want them to come in and go, hey, Mr. Seller, I understand you wanna spend less on commission, but this is why I'm worth this much, bum, 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 because this is how I'm gonna negotiate when I'm talking to people trying to buy your house and this is how I'm gonna sell your house and get you more money. 
I'm not just going to take an offer and come to you and say, you know what, they've offered this much, we should probably accept it, which is what I've done basically with my commission, I've accepted your 4%. I'm going to say, no, let's go back to them, let's say this, this and this, and let's get more money. Let's fight, let's fight for every penny. I fight for my commission, I'll fight for your house. That's what you've got to be looking at. So once again, not all agents are created equal. Often when agents are asking for less money, are they doing you professional photos? Are they getting a professional photographer in? Probably not. Are they using uh, a professional marketing team? First team has in-house marketing. Our marketing is the best in the business and I'll argue that with anyone, okay? You will get professional grade marketing materials, not something printed on a, a home printer where the ink's running out, where it's blurry, okay? And marketing is huge. I think it's 90% of, 95% now of buyers search for their homes online. They're looking at hundreds of homes and they're flicking through every few seconds. You want your photos to be so good that as soon as they see those photos, they stop. And you're not gonna get that with a 4% agent who's using their cell phone to take photos. Because I guarantee you, the 4% agent, the 3% agent, they're using their iPhone or, or whatever to take photos. And it is not, it doesn't look professional. I've seen two, three million dollar homes on the market and you can tell the agent is using their phone. For me, it's criminal and it shouldn't happen. Secondly, make sure that that agent is doing you a video. Video is, uh, I think it, it, it boosts your, the performance of your property 400% of the algorithms on Google. Video is key these days. V video is so much more searchable than, than written word. So make sure your agent is doing you a video, you know, because that's gonna make your home way more searchable. And it's also people enjoy watching videos. If it's a 30 second video, tour of your house, picture, even if it's just pictures in a video format, it has to be done. It's a very competitive market these days. You know, your 4% agent, your 3% agent, they're just putting the home on the MLS, the multiple listing service. They're sitting back and they're hoping it sells. And maybe two, three years ago that was the case, but not now. Interest rates going up, homes are a little bit harder to sell. You need an agent who's gonna be actively selling your house, actively prospecting, doing the most they can. And that's why you're paying the five and 6% because it's worth it, okay? If you go to the, uh, if, if you wanna get a good lawyer, are you gonna really uh, go and, and pay the least amount possible? Or are you gonna pay what you think they're worth? And there's, there's no different in selling, in selling the biggest asset four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar asset. Do you really want someone who doesn't really care about your property, they just care about getting the listing and getting the money? So let me tell you a little bit more why, uh, why I think First Team is without doubt um, the best real estate company in Southern California. First of all, the uh, data shows that, statistics show that. If you look at the last 12 months in Southern California, First Team has sold more houses than anyone else. If you look at them in the OC, million plus, sold more houses than anyone else. Um, so the statistics show that first team, in my eyes, are without doubt the best. Their marketing is second to none. They have in-house legal, you know, uh, are your agents gonna represent you, le you know, legally? Do they have backing? We have, we have an in-house legal team. Wire fraud is on the rise. Um, just a few months ago, I think it was about $150,000 deposit got lost. Uh, got um, wire fraud. Guess what? First team, they wrote a check. So you're protected. We have in-house marketing. Everything has to be checked by our marketing to make sure it's the best. Um, in-house IT, in-house escrow, in-house title. Um, it really is second to none. Um, just go online, look at our mark marketing material. We spend millions and millions of dollars every year. Another thing, we're not a franchise. Most of these uh, companies in Southern California are franchises. And they're, they're, they're fighting against each other. The franchise in Seal Beach is, is competitive against their own, their own company's franchise in Long Beach or Huntington Beach or, or wherever. While first team, we're one big team. 2,000 agents, I think 33 offices, but we're one team. When we put a house on the market, we have 2,000 agents actively trying to sell that house for you. They all hear about it, we show them, and it works really well. Um, and we give our homes to other companies to, to actively market for us. Keller Williams, Remax, we say, here's our house, please market it for us, and they do. We don't care where we get a buyer from. We just wanna get the most amount of buyers for your property. But guess what? 
Keller Williams, other other um, agencies, they don't they don't take our listings. So they're not, you know, we leave no stone unturned to sell your house. All we're looking for is one buyer, whether it's uh, globally, for example, we, we partner with Christie's for a million plus dollar houses. Christie's sell more houses globally than anyone else, $118 billion last year, I believe. Um, so, you know, if your house is in the two, three, four million dollar bracket, you need to, this needs to be promoted internationally, globally. And if you sell with us, it will be put on air, the number one real estate uh, website in all the countries, or the majority of the countries around the world. China, Japan. We're on Jawai.com in China. It's basically the Craigslist of America. Your house will be seen by hundreds of millions of people. Also, when, um, when most agents uh, put their listings on the MLS, it gets syndicated to about 40-odd um, websites, I believe. First team, over 2,000 websites. Your, your, um, your house is everywhere. If, if, if someone's looking for a house and it's listed by first team, the chances are they're gonna see it because we just put it out. We put it out to everyone. And you're not gonna get that with average agents, especially the four percenters, the three percenters. And lastly, why you, should be going with, uh, why you shouldn't be going with agents who are saying that they'll charge three, four percent. I'm on the multiple listing service on a regular basis. And we have to fill out a form, which then becomes searchable in Zillow and uh, Redfin, etc., where the where people are searching. The amount of times I see these forms uh, um, filled out incorrectly, missing so much information so it's not as searchable. You know, if, if it has a pool in the backyard, put pool, because people are gonna be searching pool, or fountain, fountain or water feature. People love water features. But if, if, if water feature is missed out, it's not gonna come up in the search. You know, the five, six percent agents, we are filling out everything. So whenever someone searches something, if your house has it, it's in the listing and it can be found. I've also seen things like agents saying, um, don't call me, email me or text me. Are you kidding? Don't call you? What if I have a buyer who wants to buy the house right now and I'm emailing you and you don't see the email for an hour? And then you send me an email in response and I happen to be driving to an appointment or something and then I don't see it. Two, three, four hours have gone past. There's literally agents who say, do not call me. Do you want to be working with those? Or I call and call and call and they never answer. Do you want to be working with an agent who's potentially, there's, there's a buyer wanting to buy the house and they can't get hold of the agent? It happens all the time. There's horror stories. So the moral of this story, and I'm gonna keep it short, what are we at, 13 minutes. Don't try and scrimp on commission. Commission is, is, is not the big picture. The big picture is your net profit, money in your pocket at the end of the transaction. And whether you pay, and paying 5% commission or 6% commission, I guarantee you 90% of the time is gonna get you more money in your pocket than paying some 4%, 3% agent who's just trying to get the listing, they don't really care about selling your house for the most money. And, and finally, I've, I've said it before, but if they are willing to not even negotiate their commission when they walk into the listing, do you really want them negotiating your largest asset? The answer is no. Um, so, right, if you like the video, please subscribe, comment below. I'm probably gonna get some people disagreeing with me, but uh, that's great. I love, uh, love discussing this. Um, and subscribe, gonna be sending some more videos. Um, so yeah, uh, hope this helped um, and I'll uh, speak to you all soon.